Hey everyone, it's Boogeyman Ben. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, just wanted to do a really quick video um, on a purchase that I made this week. Um, it was a new uh, DVD Blu-ray release uh, from a film that uh, was one of my favorite films this year. It came out over the summer. A little bit of controversy about it over the summer because it was leaked online uh, several weeks before it was going to open nationwide. And the movie I'm talking about is The Expendables 3. Um, this is the Blu-ray DVD combo. It also comes with the digital HD copy. Got this at Target for $19. And I uh, was really excited to get this. I know it was available online. Um, it was available like through iTunes um, like a couple weeks uh, before it hit the Blu-ray and DVD uh, format. But... I really do not like buying uh, digital movies. Um, I like the digital copies that come with the standard movies or just, you know, when you buy a Blu-ray or a DVD and they have the, the digital copy. I prefer to do it that way. I don't want to just have it on my, my tablet or my, my iPhone or something like that. I think that's not the best uh, movie going experience, but that's just my opinion. Um, but yes, I was very excited to pick this up. Um, wanted to talk about the unrated version because that is what is exclusive to uh, the Blu-ray. Um, there's also a couple of features on here. There's a, there's over, it's about an hour, I'm say a one hour documentary, um, on the making of the film. I didn't watch the, the feature New Blood Stacked and Jacked. Um, there's also a total action package, gag reel, and there's also an extended scene involving, uh, Jason Statham's character, Lee Christmas. Um, so, uh, the documentary is fantastic. I did watch the unrated version. I've actually watched it about three times. Um, as I said in my review when I did the movie review over the summer, I was a little disappointed in the PG-13 rating for the film, um, just because the first two were R-rated and uh, more hardcore, and I did feel like um, it showed that it was a PG-13 rating. Um, a lot of the, um, you would see people, you know, shooting at people, but you would never see the impact. You would always see like the after effects. So if you're shooting at somebody, you know they get hit, but then you're just seeing them fall down. You don't see, there's no real, um, it's not realistic in my opinion. Um, even though this, the changes are a little bit subtle in the unrated version, I did notice a difference. I did notice that it was a little bit more brutal. Um, there wasn't as much CGI blood as in the first two, um, which, you know, obviously everybody remembers that there was a lot of CG blood effects in the first two films. I didn't notice that as much in this one, um, but there's more like, you know, hardcore language, not a ton, but you know, it's there. Um, and I did feel like it, it, it would have been nice if that would have been the version that they released in the theater. Like I said, there's subtle differences. Uh, some people might not even notice them, but I did. And I was very happy that they did release this unrated. And the other exciting news about The Expendables is I did hear that Stallone admits that uh, it was a mistake to put it out in a PG-13 format. And they are planning uh, more Expendables films because the movie did do well worldwide. It made you know over $200 million, which is great. Um, I was very disappointed when I found it. It got leaked online, and I am completely against uh, movie piracy as well as music piracy. That's a stance I will always take. I, I don't like anybody that takes something that's not theirs, and it's stealing. So, um, you know, I've already done my rant on that, but uh, I still stand by what I said. <clears throat> but I am happy to hear that there will be more Expendables films. I've heard rumors of uh, Pierce Brosnan, Hulk Hogan. Um, there's a couple other people I'm just not remembering off the top of my head that they're talking about for the next one. Um, I hope they keep some of the cast from this one, especially like Wesley Snipes, Antonio Banderas. Um, I really, uh, Ronda Rowdy, I really liked her. Um, there's some really great people in this film. Um, it is a lot of fun. Um, I actually really enjoyed it more watching it again. Um, but I still, I still think I'm still like uh, the second one the best, but this one's really close. I, I love all three of them, but you know, I, I was really happy to get this. I might have a marathon this weekend, just watch all three of them back to back. But again, real quick, um, and I'll show it, case it off, just a normal slip cover. And uh, here you have the uh, Blu-ray. Over the Blu-ray here, and then you got the DVD right there. So yeah, I was hoping they would have put a steel book out like they did for 22 Jump Street, but they didn't. So something real quick, just wanted to talk about The Expendables 3. It's out now on Blu-ray, and anybody that's a fan of the film um, and was a little bit disappointed like me that they released it in PG-13 format, I think it's worth picking it up on Blu-ray and seeing it unrated. Um, it's not going to be hardcore unrated, but I said the subtle, there might be some subtle changes, but I did feel like it was more of what the essence of the first two films were. That's just my opinion. So I um, hope everyone's doing well this holiday weekend. And please stay tuned for some more videos I got coming very soon. Take it easy.